All right, so we're looking at where the original Israelites, the black slaves and the transatlantic slave trade sold in America. It sounds absurd, but there's a group of fanatics there that are serious about this. It might be a good idea to try to give them a perspective of Scripture, and maybe we can lead them toward the gospel instead of uh, trying to um, uh, replace Israel. We left off. These teachings, which are so clearly false by this author, and he's got more articles coming, that have been taught and perpetuated by the so-called black Hebrew Israelites are really no older than 50 to 60 years old. A man named Abba Bivens, along with his seven misguided and equally imaginative companions named the Seven, began to propagate these fairy tales to a group of the most ignorant and impoverished African Americans that they could find to soak up the message of hate. The Jew, both Shepardic, Shepardic, and especially Ashkenazi became all the all too familiar scapegoat of the black American Isra Hebrew Israelite narrative. The accusation was that somehow in a time before mass communication, before the internet, before modern postal service, before the advent of the telephone or electricity in general, worldwide Jewry had somehow collaborated and stolen the true Israelite, the African American or Negro's real culture and language and history. They made the sick claim that Jews were not only responsible but funded the transatlantic slave trade with the ultimate intention of stealing the West Africans' true identity as the black Hebrew Israelite. No matter how impossible or unbelievable this may seem, there are huge numbers of good-hearted African Americans falling into these lies. Another group has now been added to the list of hate groups which Jewish parents must teach their children to look out for. Numerous violent attacks carried out on visibly religious Jews, usually older and incapable of defense, have been happening over the past few years by members of this misguided and hate-filled cult. <clears throat> it is my hope that by dispelling some of the myths that this hate group cult teach, good-hearted African Americans will find this information and apply some critical thinking to the claims of these hate groups and outright reject them as the lies they clearly are. I also hope this information I have detailed here is used to combat the lies that these people teach to an audience who usually has no clue how to answer back to such wild accusations. Well, here's some good answers. This is to be the first of many articles which debunk their teachings of hate. I began with the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and 2868, especially because every black Hebrew Israelite I have ever spoken with both in person or written communication, has fallen back on these curses as the reason and main proof text for getting involved in and believing in the teaching of this cult. All right, that's all.